Hey, what's going on, y'all? Jimmy Macram. This is going to be my reaction to Better Call Saul. I think I'm up to uh, season three. Well, halfway through season three on Patreon. And I didn't do an intro for episode one of season one, so here I am. Uh, full length on Patreon, etc., etc. I hope you enjoy it. I am thoroughly enjoying the show at the moment. Especially season two, season three it starts picking up even more. Anyway, uh, let's get to it. This is a prequel, right? Yes, because I have no mics alive. Address unknown. Spoiler for those who haven't seen Breaking Bad. <laughs> right, what you're looking for is you are a Ren Watson fan. Oh my goodness, right? It's a fun Ooh, good. One of the few exceptions is the African pancake tortoise, which has a flat, flexible shell that allows it to hide in rock crevasses. Big swath of light. I thought I had made it through half of this uh, pilot before I gave it up. This is actually what I remember, so two minutes. I had a really bad attendance, man. To be fair, you come off the high of the finale of Breaking Bad. What do you want from me? It's a build, I know. I'm working on my fucking patience. This actually might be after the, the Breaking Bad. This doesn't feel very prequely to me. This feels like after he went to Alaska or whatever the fuck. So, so now we're in the prequel part. See, I'm putting it together. It takes a little bit. Near honors students all were feeling their oats one Saturday night and they just a little bananas. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Near honors students. Laps of judgment. Ladies and gentlemen, you're bigger than that. That was amazing. What did they even do? It's gonna be something preposterous. Oh, you have no idea. Awesome. Where did they put it? Alright, I'm through the next one now, dude. Oh, no. I can't kill him. I'm getting him. Chill out. Alright, wait, wait. Okay, wait for it. Wait. Oh, no. Is it? Alright, alright. How many times that? That was hilariously done. Ugh. Yeah, lock him up. How long? I don't know. They need something. Jesus. Gotta pay a stupid tax. <clears throat> Three dollars. Uh, I'm validated. See the stickers? Well, I see five stickers. You're one shy. It's Three dollars. They gave me... Look. Oh, gee, that's swell. And thank you for restoring my faith in the judicial system. Now, you either pay the three dollars or you go back inside and you get an additional sticker. Son of a bitch. Craig. Fuck! Take this. It's, uh, it's got my phone number on it. Yeah. Oh, this lady. She probably has the best interest of heart, to be honest. But still! James McGill. Okay, and McGill spelled MC. Well, run it again. Well, no, no, no. It's paid up. Run it again. Oh, oh shit! Don't call the cops! Don't call, don't call the police! 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 Don't call him myself! Don't call him! I'm doing don't it myself! Call the don't call the police! Don't call the cops! How are you gonna fix this? What are you gonna hustle? Things right? 500 bucks. <sighs> Oh, what the hell, man? Listen, Starlight Express, I'm gonna, the only way that entire car is worth 500 bucks is if there's a $300 hooker sitting in it. Now, let's talk about what you owe me for the windshield. You Jesus, this is sad. Oh my god, I didn't see that. Dad? What do you got? 12 chairs here? Four of these chairs are chucks. You got five of these light thingamajigs. Uh, one and two thirds are chucks. Yeah. Okay. 
So nothing but fucking losses. Both sad and cool. So to speak. I'm sure Howard would gladly pay the cost of new matchbooks and so on. It's simply a matter of professional courtesy. Chuck, whose side are you on? Seriously. You want to dance, Howard? Let's dance. This has been a depressing ass 40 minutes. Chuck is sick and he makes me sick. Go! But nothing. Not, uh. Could be the most profitable 30 seconds of your lives. That fuck is all about the pull. I'm here for it. Plus, you get to learn from the best. Nice boat. Yeah, discreet, like a stripper pole in a mosque. Yeah, forget the boat, <laughs> look at the car, you know what that is? Now, pop quiz, what's the car? Mercury Sable Wagon, baby poop brown. Okay, do you know me? No. Damn straight, go with God. I really want this to work. I know part of it's gotta work. Oh, no, no, I wouldn't think of uh, taking your money for this. The embezzlement case. Mm, yes, I'd, I'd be happy to talk it over. <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> oh, son, I don't know if this is gonna work. I have my doubts. Oh. <laughs> Alright, that part worked. She didn't even get out? Come on already. What is she doing? Is she making a sandwich? Where's her sense of responsibility? <laughs> oh, oh shit! <laughs> oh shit! So what? So what? Some more money! Since we fell in the honey pot. This is more money. So what do we need him for? Oh my god, you fucking idiots. She really hit and ran. She's an animal. <laughs> You'll see. <laughs> Gonna need this one. Hey, hey, yo, hold up. Hey, yeah, here, what is the matter with you? You hit you and run. Ran him over. You felonied my brother. Okay. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Talk okay. Me ho. Me ho. Is that money? Yeah. Me ho, Oh, shit. Good afternoon. This Oh, shit! Tuco! What? That was fun. All right, that was episode one of season one of Better Call Saul. Where would I begin? That was depressing. Uh, mostly picked up at the end and then did not end on a great note. Well, great note for me, not a great note for Saul. Tuco! I think I remember hearing Tuco was in this series. Did not know he was going to be in this season, let alone this fucking episode. That's a great fucking hook for uh, Breaking Bad fans. Um, it's weird. That's how you know the writing is great. Is that we know these things have to turn out relatively okay. We know Saul is alive present day. We know Tuco is dead present day. We know um, Saul eventually has a res respectable, might not be the right word, but not a dead broke business. Um, and yet I'm like on my edge of my seat every second feeling worse and fucking worse and fucking worse for this guy. See, this goes to hardship after hardship. It was fucking splendid. Vince Gillian? Gilligan? 
Starts with uh, starts with G, then I, then LL, and then N at the end. Um, <laughs> he's a splendid writer. Um, very this episode very much felt like a scaled down Breaking Bad. The stakes aren't as high, but they feel as high. Whether or not Saul can um, use these two skateboard hucksters. To get him paid somehow felt as big as trying to rob a train. I don't know how, but it did. I was just as nervous um, and wishful. I really like that episode. I really like that episode. I don't remember the pilot of Breaking Bad. I know I didn't love season one. I liked season one. I didn't love season one. Um, two through five is splendid, but season one was fine for me. I really like this episode, though. I'm hoping this opening season is even better. It feels that way to me. I don't want to get my hopes up, though. We even met Mike. I don't know what to make of the blonde Salt was talking to. Um, they seem like they have some type of history together. I don't know what to make of... Um, My man who's sick and can't have electromagnetism around him. <sighs> he feels like a loser to me. But you know, he's sick. He wants to believe that he's gonna come back. I guess self delusion isn't the worst fucking thing in the world when you're probably dying. Um, look forward to the next episode. Anyway, uh, post your comments above and down below. Like, share, subscribe.